So welcome to another interesting video where we go inside the old city. What is the old city of Baku? The old city is the most ancient part of Baku. It's also the core of the history of Baku. And the gate which surrounds the old city was, was the main gate of the city once upon a time. So during the medieval period of Baku, there were a lot of monuments which you can see on our tour as we go along today like the Maiden Tower, the Multani Karavaran Sari, the Bath House, the Palace of the Shirvan Shahs and a lot of other things that you have to visit. While in Baku, while in the old city, you have amazing opportunities for pictures, for videos, for reels, so don't miss them out. And stay tuned, we are the Traveling Jodi, we love to visit, we love to travel and today is day 4 part 2 of a Baku trip. I hope you are enjoying the series. And if you are enjoying, please do hit the subscribe button, it would mean a lot to us. With that said, let's go and see the old city. Come along. Restaurants here, all old style, very medieval, very uh, architectural, different. You know, it's beautiful. Old bathhouse. There are many bathhouses there. Old this is the bathhouse. Historical resources. There used to be 28. This kind of hammams. Hammams of the old town. These are the hammams, and you can see the ruins of the old city still there. Just as you can see, the building behind and the building in front, and the wall. You can see the architectural difference between them. So that's the old city. Passing by the old city, you can see the Maiden Tower is going to come soon. It's a 12th century monument and along with three other monuments, it comes under the UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it's a beautiful monument. You have to come to check out the Maiden Tower.
spreading the faith that is the church that existed here mm. back then. You see, they, you can see only. It's the apostle of Jesus who came to propagate the faith of Christ in this region. And uh, he is a Scandinavian state. He is most popular uh, in this region. And it's spreading right So finally we're trying the Azerbaijani chai at this local cute tea place. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. We are here to try Azerbaijani tea in Old Baku. So come, let's enjoy. So entering inside the Quiz Kalasi was just beautiful. I mean, if you can see the ambience. Okay, that's a cat over there. But if you can see the ambience, the, the wine leaves, and the deserts the deserts are a must try definitely a must try but the entire cafe is so beautifully uh, designed and exhibited we just had the most amazing tea experience ever it beats the london tea experience at all so we sat under the shade of a tree we have uh, served two types of azerbaijani tea a thyme tea as well as a mountain tea and uh, it was a beautiful experience and the best part is the baklava so enjoy the view and if you are in azerbaijan baku you have to come to this place this is mountain tea आज होगा तुम्हारा भारी खुशी थे Here was the olden hammam. Now it's a souvenir shop, but the olden Azerbaijani hammam is situated um, in this area. And we are entering into this place.
served all the handicrafts we next went to a public place it's called it was a caravanserai an important public place but now converted into a restaurant called mugan club and the uh, interesting part is it's about 12th century old this building so the interiors are maintained the building structure is as it was when it was in that era maybe they've done they've done some renovations of course it's now it's mogan club restaurant and currently they're preparing for dinners for a wedding service it looks like a banquet service that they're having currently and um, the place is beautiful i mean you can take a really good pictures and uh, i really lo- like the fact that there are good amount of trees and greenery inside the complex and there is uh, you know sunlighting that makes this place just beautiful you don't feel that you've entered an old uh, an old building at all the maintain the charm uh, it's beautiful you have to come here as we journey through these by lanes we revisit the history of old town we learn about the history of the place we know about the man made invention invasions that this place has suffered and also we get to know of the natural disasters this place had to go through but in spite of all this place has risen this place has risen like the phoenix it's now strong it's tall and every nook and corner of the old city speaks to us a story if only we stop and listen Right after we had to climb a few stairs upwards to get a really good view and the palace of the Shirwan Shahs. This is a 15th century palace. As you can see, Noor is showing us the pictures of the earlier times, and it is also described by UNESCO as the Pearl of Azerbaijan. Hey guys, welcome back. So now I want you. to meet our tour guide he has um, mr noor so i think noor has been with us from last 4 days and he has been taking us all these places giving lot of details about this place and we have got to know a lot about azerbaijan uh, especially city of baku gabala and uh, yeah throughout this place and noor has been very helpful uh, with lot of info lot of uh, details i would say and now uh, i'll introduce noor to you <laughs> thank you dear friends thank you for everyone that was watching this video my name is ilnoor but you may call me elba or noor whatever you find uh, more rememberable uh, i'm a tour guide as a son of this hospitable azeri nation i also love to see guests in my country i really love to work with them I really love to interact with them and I really love to introduce the country which 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 is very rich in history and culture and that can be very interesting for the guests besides its uh, rich cuisine and uh, I'd like to show the territory of Azerbaijan its historical sites its cultural sites its how to say achievements and other uh, things that might be interesting for us I am right now in the heart of the city and uh he is my one of the best friends he is oh, also my colleague you choose one of the best guide in azerbaijan really he is very knowledgeable person yeah and i i i would like to count he's on some it. sort of <laughs> brother of mine you know he is so he is also one of the best guys you know you know he can I, speak in in english in german language very fluently plus russian language it's a like a mother language of the rappers thank you thank because you. we have seen the energy of noor throughout the trip he has been very very energetic very helpful and a lot of infos so yes i would say we are really happy to meet noor so i think if you all are really interested maybe we'll drop down his noor's number contact number you can whatsapp him get in touch with him 
So yes. Okay. I would be really happy to see you in my country. To be my guest. And uh, I, I hope, I wish, and I am absolutely sure that uh, your trip to Azerbaijan will be rememberable. Hey guys, I have heard uh, his introduction and his reviews. Uh, really, uh, it was a memorable trip. I like the fact that you know, at every point he had some history, he remembered a lot of things, and I could capture all of them. So whatever you see in the video is all his knowledge, not my knowledge. And if you want to know more about the history, you want to come to this country. It's a beautiful country, and I recommend you take his uh, tour guide assistance. Yes, and you should all visit Baku, <laughs> Azerbaijan. <laughs> yes. Please like and subscribe the channel. That is one of the most important channels about the places, especially about the Azerbaijan. Yes, traveling Jody, the link will be there uh, coming up. So like and share and subscribe. Yes, thank you. Come off of again, but that is different. Earthquake that happens come off again, and after come off earthquake, even the some family members have shot, killed, or died, and as a result of this uh, catastrophic earthquake, shot decided to uh, move capital city from come off to Baku. And what was the first thing to do, of course, was city walls. That was uh, constructed by Akhstan II, who has lost his family members in Shamoha earthquake. Then he started to construct the old town, his residence, residence for his family members and other governmental officials. For example, the most important building in the old town, I think, after uh, uh, the palace itself, is Palatial Mosque. On the right side, you can see a mausoleum where some Shirvan Shahs and their family members were buried. We're going to go into a real tunnel. It's an underground road which leads to another side. Come inside and uh, just look at how beautiful this tunnel is. Uh, currently, this tunnel is closed and uh, there's a souvenir shop which is underground completely. Come, let's have a look at how the shop looks from inside. It's just beautiful. thing about this place is the coming up the lane this is a narrow lane which which has the old and the new look of Baku this particular building or this particular window or door is a famous shot in so many movies okay in many Russian movies um, it's beautiful and it's significant for some reason uh, and um, this entire walk is quite scenic you can take pictures as well uh, at the end of this lane, you can find that it opens up in a beautiful garden. In fact, many Azerbaijani gardens are well planned, are beautiful. They have uh, grown a lot of trees. It's nice to walk inside. It gives you good shade. And uh, I like the city for this reason. I like the parks uh, in every nook and corner. It's just beautiful. And you have to come to Azerbaijan. That's another reason I have to come. It's an experience. It's amazing. So walking from the uh, we have crossed that garden over there and there's restaurant restroom area public restroom too. and interestingly this garden small garden in the palm trees you can see was planted by Yuri Gagarin the man who went to space yes so it's, it's a beautiful small garden here and it was planted by him interesting right so this place or this metro Interestingly, it's the first metro in uh, Asia, even before Japan and even Africa. So it's of much significance to the people, to the culture and to the city of the country of Azerbaijan. And look at the tree over here with the branch. I think it's well Fire is a woman. 
So that is a flame tower. It's uh, probably one of the uh, oldest symbol of the country, and uh, Zoroastrians consider the flame, the fire, as an important part of their culture and religion. Parsis, yes. And uh, there are three buildings in the form of flame. One of them is a hotel. The others are all business centers. And it's interesting because it's almost like a symbol of Azerbaijan. Whenever you see Azerbaijan, you remember the flame tower. Shopping as well. So let's see what we get in Nanzami Street. Never see the end of the night from sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? It's quite reasonable as well. Plus, they have a variety of cuisines. Uh, they have Italian, they have a lot of food. So, even if you don't want local, we can try other food as well. So, Keita, what do you say? Let's go to Frankie's. Let's go. We don't need the past on our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night, we will sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? 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 When everything's said and done.
after a really long day, we finally headed back home and our day 4 vlog ends here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do give us a like, share, subscribe and comment also. It means a lot to, lot to us. And that's it. We're going to head back and uh, the part 5 is going to come soon. That's going to be our last part from Baku series. Stay tuned and thank you so much for all your love and support that you've given us to to the channel till the end and um, take care stay safe and uh, i'll see you soon bye bye